As urbanization is occurring all over the world, de-urbanization, or the ph phenomenon known as shrinking cities, is occurring in the U.S. along the Rust Belt, as well as in Eastern Europe. A shrinking city is a densely populated urban area with a minimum population of 10,000 residents that has faced population losses in large parts for more than two years and is undergoing economic transformations with some symptoms of a structural crisis. The first cause of shrinking cities is economic change. Cities usually shrink from the result of economic decline. Usually this has to do with the amount of production the city has and the amount of workforce in the city. With economic decline in a city, residents will tend to leave and move to a different state in search of a better job. The second cause of shrinking cities is structural change. When cities would become more populated and have a higher density of people, a lot of residents will move to the outskirts or the suburbs of the city to live a better life. This is called suburbanization or urban sprawl. Suburbanization also draws businesses away from the city because it is cheaper to run business in the suburbs or low density areas. The third cause, but most unlikely, is a political change that causes shrinking cities. This has happened during the fall of the Soviet Union when East Germany and Russia went from a socialist to a democratic system. Uh, the government did not support major businesses in a city causing a shrinkage. As you can see, here's a map plotting all the shrinking cities in the world. Again, most of these are along the Rust Belt in the US and in Europe. This trend is occurring because in those areas deindustrialization is happening. So when industrial activity declined, so did the economy of these cities because that was the main focus for economic productivity. This then caused the migration of people from that city to different areas with more economic stability. Detroit has been the main example of a shrinking city in the U.S. for the past couple of decades. The city has fallen from a high population of 1,850,000 people in 1950 to 677,000 in 2015. It was booming in the mid-20th century when Ford, Chrysler, and GMC started making automobiles in the city, thus the reason it was called the Motor City. The invention of the assembly line made it easy for unskilled workers to find jobs. The industry drew in one million new residents. With the industry growing, more residents were moving to the city and it became overpopulated. This and the making of the interstate highway system made it so people with higher incomes, which happened to be predominantly white people, moved to the suburbs of Detroit. This was the beginning of the decline because the government was spending more on the suburbs than the city. Business, businesses as well located to the suburbs because it was cheaper to run business in those areas. Another factor that led to the decline was the automation that automation had occurred and technology took the jobs of many workers with the start of the 20th century many manufacturing and automobile companies have either went bankrupt or moved to a cheaper area away from Detroit this has resulted in a population loss of over 60 percent with crime rates up as well as urban decay occurring with half of the lots in the city being abandoned In shrinking cities where urban decay is occurring, lotting is a solution that strives to make the city a more aesthetic place in order to attract more residents in the future. Blotting, previously known as a side yard expansion, is an opportunistic response to urban decline that lets landowners purchase the vacant lots surrounding them for a considerably cheap price. Instead of letting abandoned homes sit there untouched and uncared for, People can buy them and turn them into community gardens, patios, recreational facilities, and much, much more. 
These abandoned buildings are places where crimes occur, so this can prohibit a lot of crimes in shrinking cities and create a more friendly, attractive environment for residents and potential residents.